And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Maybe you noticed a few clouds out there this evening. Maybe you didn't notice. Well, wondering maybe we got any precipitation out there, rain? At least over East Idaho? No, all is quiet. Most of the activity is up in Montana, northeastern corner of the state. That's where a cold front sits. And then it turns into what we call a stationary front over Idaho. Basically, we have cooler air battling out with warmer air and neither one is winning. So that stalled out this front and that's what's creating the clouds. So tomorrow you'll probably notice a few extra clouds. We are on the warm side of this battlefront, so the warm temperatures will continue. We might see the highs down about four to five degrees compared to where they were today, but we'll still be warmer than average and we're warmer than average for this time of day. Right now we're at 73 in Pocatello. It's 10 degrees cooler though up in the road in Blackfoot at 63. 62 for a current temperature in Dubois up in Montana. Dillon at almost 60. A little warmer in Island Park at 61. Jackson right now at 58 degrees. Soda Springs at 62. And 10 degrees warmer down in Oneida County with a current temperature of 72. And up in Chalice. Good evening. Lemhi County, Custer County, you're both sitting pretty good, upper 60s to the mid-70s. Tonight, up in uh, Custer County, Chalice will have a low of 51. Salmon, you also see a low of 51. Dubois around 50, near 50 in Idaho Falls. A little bit on the warm side for nighttime temperatures, overnight lows at least. Pocatello, 57. Yeah, American Falls, you'll check in late tonight, early morning with a cool 55, but that's still a little toasty. And then speaking of toasty, that we will be tomorrow afternoon. Look at those highs back in the 80s. Now today we're almost 90 in Pocatello, so we're going to back off just a little bit. Uh, 84, still above average, 82 for high in Blackfoot. Mid-60s, though, if you want the cooler, there you go. Yellowstone, only 65. And uh, Jackson, a comfortable 76, along with Driggs. Island Park will see 73, and 76 will be the high in Lenore. I mentioned the clouds tomorrow. We got that stationary front nearby. And there are clouds, more clouds in the morning than what we'll see in the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, a little cloudier the farther south you go tomorrow night. Seven-day forecast, mostly sunny weather returns on Wednesday. We're in the mid-80s again. Again. And then Thursday, there's a chance late in the day of showers and thunderstorms. But as you can see, we're still in the 80s for the rest of the week. Warmest day will be the last day of the week, at least the warmest in the next six. That will fall on Saturday. We'll hit 87 Idle Falls. Until then, we may get some rain, maybe some thunderstorms Thursday, but don't necessarily hold your breath. We got cooler weather, though, Sunday and Monday. High temperatures down in the 70s. Rexburg seven-day forecast. Speaking of 70s, we'll tiptoe down in the upper 70s on Thursday. With a chance of showers and thunderstorms, a couple of days in the 80s and a little cooler as we go into the weekend. Teton area seven day forecast could see some showers and thunderstorms Thursday, one day in the 80s and how appropriate. It'll fall right smack dab on Saturday 81, so get out and enjoy. Central mountains for the next seven days, there is a chance of storminess Wednesday. Could see some showers and thunderstorms Thursday. We're in the 80s for a couple of days and then we turn comfortably cooler. Temperatures will be about 15 degrees cooler as we go into Sunday. So.